Alright, so, spawning in on reserve, and what I'm going to try and do is another full raid walk. You guys really enjoyed the first one that I did on cut. Okay. Well, didn't expect to find a Bitcoin, but we did. As I was saying, you guys really enjoyed it on customs and asked me to do other maps, so I thought I'd give it a try on reserve. And it looks like we have spawned up on the dome. So first thing I do is loot that safe. And then I like sort of peeking on this hill here because there's spawns out this way. And sometimes we can catch people trying to run like literally right in front of us off the bat. So it's worth knowing the spawns. Um, but... I'm not really seeing too much. I'm trying to keep moving as much as I can just so nobody headshots me. Finding that Bitcoin was like insanely lucky. So pretty much if we lose this kit, it's all paid for, which is, I guess, all you can ask. So we might try and have a more action-packed raid. So I might head into the bunker and show you guys a little bit of PvP and things like that. After I check the spawns, um, I like to move as quickly as I can. So, on a map like Reserve, I'm just trying to see if I can... Oh god, my laser doesn't work anymore. There we go. Um, on a map like Reserve, I think it's really important to just immediately leave your spawn point because so many people can spawn right next to you and it's incredibly dangerous so I like to run straight away from my spawn and move into another position spawning on the dome is generally quite safe but for the most part it is definitely worth running as soon as you spawn so we're in the bunker now and I actually think that somebody has turned on the power because these lights are on, but actually, no, I think I'm wrong. No, nobody's turned on the power. So, in the bunker, look, I can hear somebody already walking here. So, I think that he's just on the right. He ran down the stairs. He's not in this door. He's in the next sort of hallway. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. Well, that was a pretty easy kill. We're just going to chill a little bit to see if we can hear anyone else and see if he was a solo and things like that. But I generally play slowly in the bunker. I like to hear if people are here and things like that. I don't I don't think I'm chad enough to just sort of sprint out. Although after killing this guy, we would want to ideally loot him. So I think we might try and clear some areas. Close some doors because the longer we wait, the more people are going to come. So what I'm going to do is try push into here. I'll actually shut this door for now. And we'll have a little look and see if I can see anybody. And if I can't, which I can't, I'm going to try and loot him really quickly. At least take his dog tag. So he has an Ash 12. We might actually take his bag. And rig for that matter. So he doesn't have anything too crazy. I'm gonna take all of that so I can sort of sort it out at my own pace, if that makes sense. So we'll sit in here and do a little bit of sorting out. I wanna check if he had PS12B, which he did. So, those are really, really good bullets. 
And I'm probably going to put them in my pouch in change for my CMS because these are hard to come by and I love using the revolver as well. So we're going to take all of these to start off with. Like so. Perfect amount. And then we can put our CMS just there. And boom. We've already got a Bitcoin. We've got good ammo. And I guess we've got a kill. So... We're pretty happy with how we've started this raid. Now what I can do next is get the power on. I don't think anyone else is down here. And we can see if any raiders spawn. And I think they actually did. Because I heard something screaming. They might actually come in here. Unless it's scavs, but I'm guessing that it's raiders. Okay, well that one was a scav. So maybe I was wrong. Oh, actually we have AP rounds as well, so... We might replace that for that, because those are actually worth quite a lot more. And I'm gonna shut this door next. Just so we can continue looting in here safely. I think there's an intelligence spawn there, but obviously we didn't find it. So if you can actually get all the loot in the bunker, you're gonna generally make quite a lot of money. Cause there's really good loot to be had in here. I don't bother with the filing cabinets, as you know, I have enough money, so not about min-maxing and things like that. This guy actually already looted this crate, so he got in here relatively early, which is interesting to me, but now I think I might try and just go back up above ground, because the longer I stay down here, the more dangerous it's going to be. So, we'll head this way, maybe towards the tech building, and I guess we'll go from there. I think I just heard something to my left. If I'm not mistaken. So I think we're going to drop our bag here, and we'll do a bit of investigating. could be wrong, but I could have sworn that I heard something. Yeah, I guess I am wrong. Okay, well, we can try and get a bit more loot. Let's see if there's anything worthwhile in here. Definitely wasn't, so let me just go back, get my bag, and we are actually going to continue up this way. Now I might have to stop talking in some areas, just so I can sort of hear my surroundings, but I'll try to keep the comms relatively interesting. So we'll try hit this ration crate, because sugar's worth a lot right now, so if we find sugar, definitely going to be worth. And I guess we can also have a look in these ration crates over here. We'll drink this up really quickly, because why not? We have a few more crates to loot as well. Quite a lot more crates actually. So we might actually be getting like a decent amount of loot off the get go. And we will be quite heavy for the rest of the raid, but. I 
heard a bush. The audio is really weird in this game. But I think chances are it's probably a scab, so let's continue doing a bit of looting. Okay, so my plan is to actually go in this building above me. But we can hear something that just ran in there. So it's going to be a little bit... Yeah, so somebody's actually above us. Mm. Gonna be a difficult push. <laughs> Sorry, that was me thinking about what I should be doing here. So I think he's above us, maybe in this room or something. And I don't really know the best way to push this guy. I might give it a go, since we found that Bitcoin but chances are I'm probably going to die, so just keep that in mind. And we will throw our bag down there in case we do die. Okay, so here goes nothing. I'm pretty sure he's in this building. So we're in now. Waiting to hear any audio cues from him. I think what I'm going to do is basically just sit here for the meantime because he has heard me run in and I have no idea where he is. So I'm not really going to be at the advantage if I keep moving around like this because he could just be in the room above me sitting and waiting for me and it's going to be a really difficult push. If nothing happens for like 30 seconds or a minute, then maybe I'll get some confidence, I guess you can call it, and try and clear above me in the building. But generally when I run into a building, I get in there as quick as I can and then I try and stay dead silent to see if I can hear anyone ADSing or moving or things like that. So at the moment we have not heard any noise but when I was underground it sounded like he was shooting from this side of the building. Okay, so he just grenaded. I didn't get any audio of that which is incredibly concerning. He might actually be on the staircase, which wouldn't really be too good for me, to be quite honest with you. I don't actually know why I got no audio there. Like, I can't hear the sky at all right now. So we're kind of in a terrible spot. sort of back myself into a corner here. And I think the only way out is for me to actually be aggressive. My guess is that he is on the stairs or maybe on the other hallway. So let me see what I can do here. trying to bait of anything from him, but we're not really getting much. Just running around trying to see if I can get any audio from him, but unless he's on third floor. Yeah, we're not really hearing this guy, are we? There's one on the roof, actually. Did he see me, is the question.
He's just up on the roof somewhere. I don't know if he saw me. But let me tell you, I do not really like this. I want to conserve my aim stamina. So maybe I was wrong the whole time. He was actually in the other building. And I still have my bag underneath, which isn't very good. Scav just screamed on the right. Okay, so he knows we're in here somewhere. He's definitely, I guess you could say, seen me. But he's not showing himself now. Which is slightly annoying. I don't, I don't really know how I can peek this guy any better from any other angles. That's a scav underneath. The longer we stay in here though, the more, I guess, pressure we're going to be from player scavs and things like that, so... The annoying thing is, is I can't actually get to my bag easily now. So we're actually going to try and move. That's a scab. Definitely was a scab. But this guy's probably going to be sitting up there now. And he's not really going to let me get to my bag. Let's just try and loot this PC block in the meantime. Imagine we get a GPU. Yeah, no, not that lucky. I think the play is to actually leave him alone. It's just going to be far too dangerous for me to take that fight. We'll loot up these duffels. And then I will have to go out this way to get my bag. Because if I go out this way and drop down... in here and my bag is still here so that is nice to see so he's actually he's still there he just, he just grenaded us again I do want to try and kill this guy I know he's up on the roof Okay, this guy has a lot of grenades. He's just throwing grenades on end at this rate. I don't think he's going to come down from that roof either. And my extract, I was actually going to go to Red Rebel, so... This is going to be more problematic than I thought. I guess we can try and peek him again. Take it nice and slow. Maybe we can see him up top or something. Nah, this guy's not going to show himself, is he? It's not going to be that easy. Wow, I almost just died. 
He's still up on the roof. He's just lobbing grenades down like a madman. We might have to call it quits. I don't really think I can challenge this guy properly. Or maybe... Maybe I can get into white and go underneath him. That's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to get underneath him. Hopefully nobody's here. Go up this way. And I'm going to try and flank him. Oh, this airdrop is honestly perfect. Shouldn't expect me. I'm gonna walk up the entire way. If he knows I'm here, then he's just a genius, honestly. exposed from dome. Oh, I'm in the wrong building, aren't I? No way. He's right there, though. There's two of them. Okay, we killed one of them. So now we're going to try and push the last one. I didn't realize I was, got in the wrong building though. That's hilarious, man. We're going to drop this bag in here and pack up this bag. Is he shooting at me right now? Is he trying to like wallbang me or like what is he doing? What? This guy, is this guy like cheating? Or what the hell is he doing? I don't even know if I can push this guy based on what I just saw there. If he headshots me right now, then GG's, I guess. I would love to try and get to him, though. Was he shooting at me just before? Or, like, what was happening? I genuinely do not know. Maybe he's expecting me to come this way, though. Yeah. I don't know if he's giving me, like, warning shots or something. Like, what the hell is he doing, man? Um... I don't really know what to do, honestly. I feel like I've s I've spent the whole raid trying to hunt him, so I'm just gonna go for it. 
Let's see what happens. Do we reckon he's still on the roof, though? That's the real question. I think he's probably still on the roof, right? Worst case, I can at least loot his buddy. Don't know why I have a feeling that I am going to die, but this was a pretty good raid in terms of how you can wrap around reposition and things like that, so. It was relatively fun, I would say. And we got a Bitcoin, so... Can't be that mad. I might sit here for a second, just to see if I can hear anything. Actually, I'm not bothered with that. Let me just push out and see if he's up here still. He is. Oh my god, he shot me through the chimney or something? I thought he was going to stop spraying me. Well guys, that's how I play Solo on Reserve. If you guys enjoyed that video, it was pretty action packed I would say, then make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Pretty sus stuff happened there, I don't know why he was shooting at me when I was in the other building, but it is what it is. Let's actually check his stats. Just out of curiosity, 6.5 KD with a 100 round mag, okay. Well, relatively unfortunate ending there, but I think that was a pretty fun raid. So, thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next one.